What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another Arsenal transfer update video. Today will be the last video of the week out here in the bush, in the forest, people. You know, for anyone that's just um, tuned into the channel this week, this isn't how I always set up, you know. I will be back in the office tomorrow, but you know, while you're away, you've got to still keep things ticking. Business after you run, people, you know. So, uh, But big up to everyone who's been supporting the videos, still liking the videos sharing subscribing all of that good stuff we're only 550 subscribers away from 50k lick down that button if you haven't already i will do a giveaway once we hit 50k as well just to give something back to the community so big up to everyone for supporting right let's get into arsenal finally we have a little bit of good news it looks as if we are getting closer to making another signing that signing 25 year old manchester city player Alexander Zinchenko. Now, we were linked with him a few weeks ago and then we seemed to go away from him and try and get Lissandro Martinez. At the time, I wasn't sure why we were looking to spend so much money on Martinez with Gabriel playing left centre-back. Martinez is not a specialist left-back, let's be real. Um, Zinchenko, for me, ticks a lot more boxes and makes a lot more sense for Arsenal under these circumstances. Now, He's 25 years of age, he's won multiple titles, he can play left back, left wing back and centre midfield. He knows Arteta, he'll know Gabriel Jesus, he knows the Premier League. It ticks a lot of boxes for Arsenal. Now that's not me saying he's a better player than Lissandro, I just think he's more what we need. Now, David Ornstein has put out a report today people and he has said in this report, Arsenal are in talks with Manchester City to agree a deal for Alexander Zinchenko, Manchester City are willing to sell him if Arsenal match their asking price. The asking price is believed to be between 25 and 30 million pounds. Now, for me, Zinchenko is 25 years of age. He's very talented on the ball. I think 25 million pound is a bargain. I'm going to be totally honest. I would be very pleased if we got this deal done. I think he's a quality player on the ball. Kyle Walker actually put out an interview where he said he's one of the three best players at Manchester City in terms of technical ability. So that's saying a lot about him. Um, I think the other two were Mares and Bernardo Silva, not even Kevin De Bruyne. Um, what I will say is the one potential negative about this situation. I hope Arsenal are not signing him as a specialist midfield signing, you know, because to me, he's a versatile player that you can play left back, you can play centre mid. I think we need a specialist to go into the middle and midfield to go and play in that role to make things happen. I'm not saying Zinchenko isn't a good midfielder. I just think there is better options than him in the middle. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with that one. Do you think we should play him left back? I think he can compete with Tierney because he's better on the ball. Tierney probably is better defensively. So it definitely offers competition for places. So in that sense, it's a very sensible signing for Arsenal. Um, like I said, 25 years of age. It's believed Zinchenko would be willing to come to Arsenal if we can agree the fee with Manchester City. Now, I don't think this deal should be particularly difficult to tie up. He knows the manager, he knows the club, he knows the league. You know, we'll be able to offer him bigger wages than he's on at City at the moment. He's not on a huge amount at Manchester City. And me personally, if we sign Zinchenko, it ticks a box for me. I will credit the club on that one. And I would personally like to see that deal done. I want to know what you think, people. Let me know in the comments. Alexander Zinchenko, are you happy with this deal? 25 to 30 million. Is that a good price? But the biggest question... Where are you playing him if he comes to Arsenal? Is he a better left-back than Kieran Tierney? Is he a good enough centre midfielder to go into our midfield? Or would you rather see a Tielemans or somebody like that brought in? I personally still think if you sign Zinchenko, you should go and still buy a midfielder, a specialist in there. But in terms of signing him, ticks a box. I would be happy with that signing. Get it done. Let me know in the comments what you think, people. Right, let's talk about midfield issues that are going off at the moment now i have to tread carefully when i discuss this situation or potential situation or whatever is going on in the background we don't know thomas Partey was named in the arsenal squad yesterday for the u.s tour 33 man squad we spoke about it briefly yesterday they released multiple pictures multiple videos he's nowhere to be seen now is it 
I, I don't I don't understand the situation. Is it coincidence? And he has flown with them, and we just didn't see him. Or is it, you know, I don't, under, I don't know what's going on. We know there's a situation going off at the moment in football where there are accusations that a Premier League player has done certain things. A report came out yesterday in the newspaper that the club, whoever that club is, whatever the player may be, the club are willing to allow the player to continue to play whilst he hasn't been proved guilty of anything. Now, a lot of people are protesting this, saying that while a player is on unve- under investigation for such a serious offence, they shouldn't be allowed to continue playing. It seems like a bit of a mess. And obviously, you know, if 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 a player is guilty of that, then he deserves, you know, he deserves to be disgraced for it, of course. But it's a messy situation and I'm sure we'll hear more about it in the next few weeks. So we'll have to see what happens regarding this whole situation, people. But it doesn't look great at the moment, so we'll have to see. Um, obviously, if Zinchenko comes to Arsenal, that could free up Nuno Tavares. Now, Nuno Tavares is being linked once again with a loan move to Marseille. Marseille apparently want to take him on loan with an option to buy him at the end of the season um, for around £8 million. We paid £8 million for him. What do you do with Tavares, people? Do you look at it and you say, you know what, we got it wrong, loan him out, Marseille buy him for £8 million and you get your money back? Or would you loan him and bring him back and then assess him? Because listen, at the moment, I don't think Tavares is good enough to play for Arsenal. I really don't. However, when you look at his stats online, people, he hasn't played a lot of football in his career. He could really benefit from going to a team like Marseille, playing 30, 40 games. You may see a different player in 12 months' time. So I've got no problem him going out on loan. I suppose if you've got Tierney and Zinchenko, there isn't a great need for Nuno Tavares. That is the problem for him. But I definitely think a loan move would be the best for him. Go and get some first team football and see um, see what he can do and, and if he can develop over the season. So let me know what you think regarding that one. Um, Burnt Leno, once again, people. Burnt Leno is apparently pleading with Arsenal to reduce their asking price in order to let a move to Fulham go through. Now, apparently, they want to pay about £8 million. Arsenal won 11. Surely they meet somewhere in the middle, 9, 10 million, you get this deal done. As I said many times, I'm surprised Leno is going to end up at Fulham. I think he's better than Fulham, but it is a World Cup year. He's settled in London. Maybe it's an easy move for him and he's willing to just continue um, his Premier League journey. So that one looks as if that one could get done. Lucas Paqueta, the latest surrounding him, just a brief conversation about it today. Apparently Edu and Mikel Arteta or, you know, they want this guy, you know, this is serious interest, Um, it's a player they want, again, I've said many times, how do you ideally fit him in a midfield, maybe a midfield three on the left, centrally, but on the left, Um, but it's believed Leon wants 60 million euros to even come to the table and have this discussion, but Arsenal, they are serious about Paqueta, they want to bring him to the club, and it looks like negotiations are still continuing behind closed doors. Isn't it funny, people, that we were linked with Awar for two years straight. Apparently, he's available this summer for 15 million euros, and yet Arsenal have no interest in him. And now we're trying to sign his teammate Paqueta at 60 million euros. Um, but hey, Awar seems to have uh, fallen off the radar all of a sudden. Listen, people, thank you very much for tuning in as always. Let me know in the comments what you think, especially around Zinchenko. I think it would be a smart bit of business. 25 million pound i'm all over it but as i said people i still want that specialist center midfielder as well even if zinchenko comes in like the video subscribe to the channel hit me up in the comments and i will see you all tomorrow people bless